Hey everyone, this is Mike and today I'm going to be talking about improving as a player and more so as a new player coming into Final Fantasy XIV because one of the things that I think the game does really bad is provide a good learning environment for new players and even if you've been playing the game for a few years when the new job comes out, having to learn that new job, there isn't really a great environment that the game stimulates you to try and get better because let's face it, the tutorial that is available in the game is not really all that great. When it comes down to the game teaching its mechanics to you teaching certain principles we have the hall of the novice which hall of the novice i believe if i'm not mistaken uh, that this is also just optional content you don't necessarily have to do this and then we also have guild hests which i am 100 percent sure that that is optional content and again guild hests themselves aren't super interesting to do either so when it comes down to just teaching the players specific things about the game it doesn't really do that great of a job of it and it's also completely optional for the players to want to do that and there will probably be a lot of players that don't even know that it exists and thus completely disregard it because they just have no idea that it is there in the first place. So I would really like to see that there is some kind of a better tutorial maybe every few levels when there is something new introduced to your job for example let's say as well that the game gives you like a prompt like for example a mini tutorial on the side where it shows you something new specific combinations that are kind of expected from you as when you're playing a job like for example let's say machinist right when you unlock both wildfire as well as hypercharge let there be a little pop-up saying hey you have wildfire you have hypercharge you should use these two together because wildfire wants a lot of different gcds underneath that buff window hypercharge makes you go faster so you want to use these together or maybe go even a step further and also give a mini challenge attached to it so it gives you the information you press challenge and then you're brought to like a striking dummy where you are asked to use wildfire and hypercharge together on that striking dummy so that you're basically taught the concept of how that is supposed to work and you can continue this line of thinking into basically everything else in the game as well when it comes down to playing a tank and you for example go into to your first dungeon make them go into a mini challenge where they're supposed to pick up all of the mobs and then once they're brought together that they need to use defensive cooldowns when it comes down to playing a dps well technically this goes for all of the jobs in the game um, but for example when you go into a dungeon let them know that they're supposed to use aoe abilities once there are like three or more mobs available for you to hit or something like that because you would be surprised how many times I go into an expert roulette and I still see, for example, a red mage doing single target attacks when there's like five or six mobs hitting the tank or tanks that aren't using cooldowns or healers that are just standing around doing nothing, waiting for them to heal the tank or something like that. So there could definitely be a better way to stimulate the players to basically get better at the game and mainly looking at new players because as a new player there really isn't anything that lets you know whether or not you are doing a good job in this game unless of course you install ACT but I don't really think that ACT is the solution here and if you're a newer player coming into Final Fantasy your first idea is not going to be to install ACT to see how well you're doing as you're just like leveling up going through the story and that kind of stuff if you're on PlayStation you don't even have access to it either so this is definitely not the solution however this brings me to my second point and which is something that i thought about as i was talking about it with a friend a few days ago when i started to get back into closers online closers online for those that don't know is another mmo that i play i think i've actually been playing it longer than final fantasy at this point but basically it's kind of like a dungeon crawler there's also raids there's bosses all of that kind of stuff but every time that you finish a dungeon or a raid whatever it might be you get kind of like a mission complete victory post with your character and then it shows you kind of the results of that specific battle it shows you your time your defense your technique and then gives you an overall rank of how well that you did and i think this is a really cool system because it basically gives you a very quick overview of what you did inside of this dungeon did you do well did you do badly and then you also know where you kind of need to work on and if they were to do something similar in final fantasy i think that this would basically be what could help a lot of players out when it comes down to getting feedback from how well that you did a lot of players think that they are playing well enough but because they don't actually have actual feedback, unless you're using ACT, for example, they don't really know for sure. When I first got into raiding, I thought I was a good player. I thought I was doing well. I went into raiding, I trialed for a static. They told me, you know what? There's a lot of things that you need to work on because you're doing only half of the damage that you are supposed to be doing at this level or at this gear at the moment. So because I was introduced to ACT, it allowed me to step up my game. It allowed me to see my improvement in the game as well. And I think something like this 
uh, where you kind of get like a result screen at the end of a dungeon could be very stimulating for players to try to improve. Like when they end the dungeon and they get this result screen, they can basically very quickly see what they are supposed to be working on. Like for example, they got a B in defense, meaning that they got hit by a few mechanics here or there. They know, okay, next time I go into this dungeon, I need to try and not get hit by as many mechanics that I can avoid in the future. Or when it comes down to technique, how did they do their rotation and that kind of stuff? Maybe they got a A, not an S, an A, because they didn't use all of their raid buffs all the time. Something that I see a lot in dungeons is that players don't use their raid buffs on the map packs, they save it for the mini bosses, which basically makes them lose like three usages over the course of a whole dungeon or something like that. And maybe even go a step further where instead of only showing your rank, there could be like a mini tip attached to it, like for example, technique A, you didn't use your raid buffs whenever they came off cooldown, or for example, technique B, you dropped some combos here or there, or maybe for example, when you're playing a melee DPS, try to pay more attention to your positionals. Like it's basically getting player feedback. That is something that I think is very important when it comes down to getting better at a game, because you can think you're the best player in the world at a specific game, but as long as the game isn't telling you specifically that yes, you are doing well, you never know for sure. And of course, with ACT, we know whether or not you're playing good or bad. But again, PlayStation players don't have access to it. Some players just don't want to like install a parser because it takes a little while to get everything installed and all of that stuff can be a little bit of a hassle, uh, especially if you want to get specific overlay plugins and all of that stuff. I think it's better now, but back in the day, that was kind of annoying, but still, it basically takes a while to install it. And especially as a newer player, that is not necessarily something that you would immediately think about when you get into the game. They you need to install a third party program to know whether or not you are playing well, yes or no. So something like this uh, could definitely help the improvement of the player base themselves. First of all, having a better tutorial to showcase specific mechanics that the game has to offer, maybe even show some often used mechanic indicators like what is a stack marker or something like that. And then maybe they can even take it a little bit more specific when it comes down to specific jobs that they are playing, like the machinist example, like for example a tank having to use cooldowns when they have pulled a bunch of mobs together, that kind of stuff. And then once they actually go into the content, give them some kind of a result screen where they can see, yes, I am doing well, I can basically take this information and keep doing what I am doing. But then again, if they also see, oh, I got a B on all of these things, I should improve a little bit here or there. And then if there are some tips over there as well that are saying, okay, look, these are some of the points that you can work on. I really do think it would stimulate the player base to get better. I've heard a counter argument that this could make some players feel bad about themselves because they didn't get a good grade at the end of the dungeon. But I do think that most of the players that play this game want to be a decent player at it and they don't want to just be a bad player and get carried through content or at least I don't think a lot of people would think like that. So I do think that something like this could be a very good addition to the game. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say about this. But on that note, I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my patrons for supporting me, and I'll see you in the next one.